Uh, Jacob Levy is a senior at San Joaquin Memorial. Um, I really enjoy uh, being here. I'm a student. I'm a student athlete. Um, I'm a fencer and uh, I just like to be nice to as many people as I can. Uh, I think the first time I stepped on campus, I definitely was uh, a little bit more of a nervous uh, freshman. I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't really know that many people. Uh, but this, this year, uh, looking back on it, I believe that I've really uh, developed into a person who can communicate well with others. And uh, I feel like I've really, really grown from uh, where I was at the beginning of freshman year, for sure. Uh, probably some of my all-time favorite uh, memories here was probably watching the, some of the sports games. Uh, I think it was my freshman year, uh, our boys baseball team went to Valleys and they won. That was at Fresno State. That game was really, really fun. Uh, another game was the Holy Bowl, uh, this my senior year. Uh, that was a great game. Uh, we won and it's just, it's a fun tradition that they've had for about 75 years and I think it's, it brings a lot of honor uh, to the school for winning that, for sure. Uh, so one thing that I uh, wish I knew before going to SJM was just do as many things as possible, um, whether that's involving clubs, uh, sports, uh, because I wish, I wish looking back that I played tennis all four years because I really, really enjoy it this year. I wish I played soccer because I really also enjoyed that this year as well. Um, and just being in clubs as well, I really um, thought that that has been fruitful for myself to be in a service club as well as the National History Club. Uh, I believe that receiving a faith-based education is very, very important. Uh, I believe that you know, starting with prayer every, every day is good to you know, get our mind ready to learn, to stay focused. Uh, and I think it's good to you know, have that ultimate goal in mind, and that goal is to you know, um, grow the kingdom of God uh, through our education that we receive here. Uh, yes, I believe that my mind really has changed, and I think that that's been through service. Um, you know, we have a... We do service here at Memorial. Uh, it's a LaSallean education. Um, and, I, and because of that, actually, it, uh, because we did more service, it made me more comfortable with it. And I actually took on the role of being uh, on the board of the service club, which, and I've been leading uh, many projects. I'm leading one right now. And I think it's really made me appreciate serving others, like going out into the community and serving people one-on-one, -on -one, direct uh, participation within our community. Uh, so I was involved in service clubs, so we do uh, projects, we serve the Pavarello House, we serve uh, the Center for Restorative Justice Works in Chowchilla for the women. Uh, we, serve, we do many, many things for the service club. Uh, and for sports, um, I've been on tennis and I've been on soccer here at school, as well as cross country. So for fencing, I, uh, I watched the Olympics in 2012. Uh, it's a great way to you know, get connected with the sport. Uh, and I saw that and I, I really thought that that would be an interesting sport, something that I would like. Uh, so we looked it up. There was a place in Fresno uh, and we joined there. There's a great coach and that's just how, how the story happened. And now here we are. <laughs> absolutely, actually, uh, absolutely. So actually, um, we said that we would become pen pals in college, that we would write letters to each other uh, in college. So. I think that we'll both text as well as write physical letters that we can keep like so what was actually happening at that time. So I made a good group of friends my freshman year. Uh, we're still all friends today. Uh, today actually is twin day for school and I'm wearing like a twin outfit with two of my other friends. So. Uh, in my life I'm definitely most grateful for my family. Uh, my mom and my dad have been really uh, they've worked really hard with me to, you know, become the best person I, be, I can be. And my older brother, he graduated from Memorial last year. Uh, he's been a role model of mine as well as, you know, someone who I look up to. And he's helped me through a lot of things um, in school and as well as outside of school. I would say SJM is a very inclusive community. Uh, they accept a lot of people from a different, you know, backgrounds, different, obviously, physical locations because a lot of people commute to school. Uh, and even... Um, different like, school backgrounds as well, because I obviously didn't go to a Catholic school initially, but now here we are and I've made a lot of friends and I've really come to accept that Catholic faith um, and I've just really enjoyed that. Uh, cool. So in the fall, I'll be attending uh, the University of California, San Diego. I'll be fencing there um, collegiately at the NCAA Division I level. 
Um, and I'm just very, very excited to, you know, show, see, show what I can do next year uh, in fencing. How do you feel about our AP and honors courses? Do you feel they challenged and motivated you? Absolutely. I would say that these, I took many AP and honors courses uh, while here at Memorial, and although they were difficult, I do feel that they motivated me to, you know, become the best student I could be. Um, even throughout COVID, I worked hard to, you know, get good grades, learn the material, and I did well on the AP tests. So I definitely feel that the teachers here are very, um, they worked very well with me even during COVID. And then coming back, um, it's been even better. And I've really, really enjoyed uh, taking these courses. What advice would you give a freshman coming into Memorial in the fall? Uh, so some advice that I would give to a freshman coming into Memorial in the fall would be join as many sports and as many clubs as possible just so that they can meet people very quickly, uh, meet friends, and um, just get involved with the school and do different things. 99% of our students go on to a four-year university or college. How do you feel about being part of that statistic? Uh, I feel very honored to be a part of that statistic because I know that Memorial has prepared me well, and I know that next year uh, in college I'll be you know, one of the best students there because I know that I know how to learn, I know how to work hard, and I know how to, more importantly, take a break when um, after working very, very hard. And lastly, where will you live in life five or even ten years from now? In five or ten years from now, I'll probably be still in San Diego because the weather's too nice to pass up. Um, there's great beaches there. There's a lot of fun things to do. And um, what's, not, what's not to like about 70 and sunny every day, right?